Here's a quick overview of how you can dynamically add trace points to your Golang or C++ application code without any instrumentation. As an example, I have GCP's demo app online boutique here on the left. This is a basic e-commerce site where you can select products, add to your cart and check out. And let's take the example of you wanting to debug this specific service, that's the checkout service. To do that, um, what I'll, the example I'll use is deploying a probe in the money.go program within the checkout service and specifically trace this function here on line 93. The way you would do that with Pixie is shown on the right I have the live UI up monitoring the online boutique application deployed in this GKE cluster. The first thing that you have to do now is go into the checkout service. Um, so if you, if you click in there, what you'll notice is Pixie kind of monitoring its performance. For now, in this initial release, you will have to manually kind of select the process ID uh, for your script and to deploy the script uh, I switch to uh, this boutique checkout trace script that I have, I have set up and, and with the compute script opened up. So let me walk you through what the compute script does. So this essentially takes in the process ID, the path to your program, specifies what type of information you want to extract from the function and then outputs that into a table within Pixie. What this will do once you hit run is take this, convert that into BPF back probes, collect function level data and return that into this table for you to query and visualize. Let's go for it. So once I hit run, Pixie is going to take your specifications, deploy a probe, in this case called money15, and then look, uh, the arguments start flowing in. So what you're seeing is with timestamp, the values for each argument in this function kind of streaming into this table that you're querying. This is as load granular data as you can get. And once you have this, you can start visualizing it using Pixie's kind of powerful visualization uh, capabilities to debug your application. We will have a lot more user scenarios and debug sessions being added to the documentation soon, but this is a quick primer. Thank you.